Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, three of Jesus' best friends we celebrate today. Welcome back to God's Playbook, friends. In the examples of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, we recognize that Jesus shared in our humanity. Friendship is so important to us as humans, and it was important to Jesus as well. Lazarus and his sisters, Mary and Martha, were like an extended family to Jesus. They loved spending time together. They loved to welcome Jesus into their home. But also, it is at the tomb of Lazarus that we see that Jesus wept and experienced true human sorrow. Sorrow for sin and death, because indeed this is not what God intended when he created the Garden of Eden. But it is because of his gift of free will that Adam and Eve fell into sin, and so death and sin entered the world. In Mary and Martha, we see examples of women who struggled with the differences of staying at the feet of Jesus and also getting work done. Many of us can be identifying ourselves with Mary or with Martha, depending on our personality styles. But think of the gratitude that Martha and Mary have when their brother Lazarus is raised from the dead. This attitude of gratitude that they share with Lazarus and their extended family and friends shows their appreciation for the Lord, who, as they both said while their brother had died, Lord, if you had been here, our brother would not have died. Their faith in Jesus was always strong. But it was deepened when he used the raising of Lazarus and the beautiful miracle to allow them and the people around to realize that Jesus is truly divine, the person he says he is. For us, we are called to be a friend of Jesus too. In many sacred songs within the liturgy, we are called to be his friend. I no longer call you servants, but friends, the Lord says in the scriptures. So this intimacy that Jesus had with Mary, Martha, and Lazarus is the same intimacy he wishes to have with each of us, my dear brothers and sisters. Imagine this idea of a God wanting to call you his friend. It's obvious that we would want God to be our friend, but the fact that he wants to be our friend is absolutely humbling. Think about when you've met somebody, perhaps an athlete or a movie star, a political figure, somebody with a lot of money. When they want to friend you, how does it make you feel? Even through social media, when we get a friend request, Does it not excite us? Or perhaps at times, if you're a little cynical, might say, do I want to be this person's friend? Well, Jesus wants to be your friend. What a great privilege and honor it is to know that very truth. Why would Jesus want to be my friend? For Lazarus and Mary and Martha, I'm sure their humility also asked that same question, and yet Jesus affirmed them that indeed he wanted to spend time with them. Jesus calls us to spend time with him every day in prayer and every time we enter a church, whether it be for Mass or just for private prayer. In Eucharistic adoration and Holy Hour, when Jesus is placed in the monstrance, we are called to spend time with our friend, When our day is going well, let's talk to our friend. When our day is going very badly, let's talk to our friend. When we need a shoulder to cry on, let's talk to our friend. When we rejoice for our daily blessings 
Let's give thanks to our friend. In the Church's 2021 decree on combining the veneration of Mary and Lazarus with Martha, the Congregation for Divine Worship in the Sacraments said, In the household of Bethany, the Lord Jesus experienced the family spirit and friendship of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. And for this reason, the Gospel of John states that he loved them. Martha generously offered him hospitality. Mary listened attentively to his words, and Lazarus promptly emerged from the tomb at the command of the one who humiliated death. In each of these three friends of Jesus, we find ourselves. The intimacy with the three is the intimacy God wishes to have with you. May we always be faithful friends of Jesus, not caring what others think. Oh, you're a religious fanatic. Oh, how can you believe that? Did Jesus exist? Or what other ridiculous comments we might face ourselves with because of comments made by family and friends? At times we may be shy or not a faithful friend of Jesus. Yet, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus didn't care what others thought. They knew who Jesus was. May we know who Jesus is and use our relationship with Jesus as our best friend, not just a friend, but our truly best friend. For Jesus is there when the going gets tough, He helps us carry our crosses, he celebrates our joys, and is the very reason for our existence. May we indeed live as a friend of Christ, just as our friends today, the patron of today, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, live their lives. Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, pray for us. How can we deepen our friendship with Jesus, friends? Let's look for ways and follow through with them. For God's Playbook, I'm Father Rico. God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Buzzsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks and God bless.